Well, hello guys, my name is Nick, and today we're working on a 1975 Hot Wheels Monte Carlo Stalker. Obviously, I cannot get the original stickers, I think, but I'm gonna make a really nice car out of this. So first, let's take a look at it. The paint is really faded, the stickers are gone, the bottom is plastic, so not really much I can do about that. As you can see, the stickers are completely gone. But first, let's drill out the rivets. So for some reason it didn't record, I have no idea why, but after taking off the base, we take out the interior, the black interior and the window that's actually in pretty good condition. And we take a closer look at the body. So now it's time to get the old paint off and the most amazing thing happened while doing that. So take my container, take the paint stripper, put it on and let's... Let the magic happen. Take a look at the roof in 5, 4, 3 and the paint is gone. It's gone. Uh, for some reason I think Hot Wheels used the cheapest paint possible in 1975. Or I, I just, for, for some reason my paint stripper is just the uh, most amazing in the world. No, usually it takes about half an hour to get the paint off but this, what was it, 10 seconds? It, it, it's amazing. I, I still can't believe it. It's it's. There is a model right now, already 24 hours in paint stripper. The paint hasn't even loosened yet. So this is after some paint stripping. For primer, I use a Tamiya Fine Surface Primer White this time. Just shake off the can and get the primer on the model. Of color, I decided something different. Not the yellow, not stickers. I used an orange. Not really the color you would expect, but it turned out really well. So let's get this orange on the car in a time lapse. Or I'm just a, a, a really fast painter, that's also a possibility. Next, let's get to reassembly. So let's take my model that I actually applied one more clear coat off camera. So let's take my model off my stand. It cured overnight. Let's install the glass that I quickly polished. No, I didn't polish the glass. I'm lying. I'm sorry. I didn't polish the glass. It was just in really good condition. After that, place the interior back into place and snap the base back on the model. After that I used something soft, so I used my glove, literally. And let's add some drops of glue to hold the base into place. And that's the model pretty much finished, let's take a look at it before and after. Now if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, subscribe and hope to see you next time, bye.